<laughs> decisions, decisions, decisions. When we got the new cedar, we had to rejig some uh, hydraulic lines. They, uh, when Young's came out to do the PDI, they had some cheater hoses, but uh, we had to we had to adapt a little bit. And I, I'm quite happy at a lot of the changes that we had to do. Now I have one more. And again, I, I'm fine with making this change. This one's a little, how do I want it? So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So the new drill needs some different hydraulics than what we had set up originally. Uh, before we had another one of these as a, a secondary case drain. Um, shanks, wings, fan one, fan two. When we started setting it up, they had some cheaters running, but we got her. Um, so instead of the open-ended case drain, they have one of these guys I really like. We're still going to do shanks on one, but we need three-quarter inch off to the side. I'll touch on that. Uh, wings are going to be on two. Three and four will be empty. I've heard some guys say on one of those, you should put your uh, your conveyor, but you got to run some extra hoses for that. Interesting idea. We're not going to do it this year. Uh, anyways, but five and six are the fans. Originally three and six were fans, but every time you went to lift the shanks, the fan fan one would drop like 2000 RPM. So I moved the splice from three up to five right there. And so now this is five and that is six, I believe. So we're just rejigging the hydraulics a bit and they recommend that the shanks for the sectional control and you know, there's a lot of shanks There's 70 shanks now for a faster response, like a up and down return, they want three quarter uh, fittings. They said it's okay to be on the existing hose. It's just that the half inch couplers have a very small restriction. So we're gonna go three quarters for now. I'm sure it'll work fine. And I'm going to add, I think I'm just gonna add a plate on here. I'm going to take all these off, add a plate, put some new, whatever you want to call them, quick couplers, SCVs. I guess these are technically SCVs, whatever. And I need to find a spot to splice in. Originally, I was planning on splicing in down here. Um, honestly, this side doesn't look that bad. Like I, I'd splice here and then loop around, but the other side doesn't look like a lot of fun. So I'm kind of thinking I might splice in up there. Just need to figure out which is which because I'm pretty sure that's number one right there. Yeah. We'll have to see. It, I regret my decision in a way. It took a lot of grunting and cussing and fiddling around and banging and tweaking and whatnot to get everything to fit. But I like how it fits. Uh, if I was to do this again, Especially on the newer, so this is a 2019. I think it's on the 2020 or 2021s. They started splitting these to the other side. So you'd have three here, three there. I would definitely do things differently if they were split. The... The easier way, I think, though, probably might have ended up being a little more expensive. 
not that the hose is any different, but you might need to get different ends on some of these to make them work. Or just add extensions there. I don't know. But this is number one right here. That one would have been easy to split off of right there. It's the other side that would have been the real prick because it would have been taller once you put that T on and it's right underneath number three. That's kind of why I chose not to split up there. Like As I kind of look at it now, I probably could have, you know, it would have been a lot easier with the hoses not being minus 20 degrees, but I probably could have turned that one to the side. It wouldn't have been a lot of fun, but this sure wasn't any fun. Had to uh, do a lot of tweaking with this guy, just the position to make, not to, like, to get by, it's fine, but it was just to get it square enough. And for me to get two hands in there to make up this connection. But everything's tight. I'm going to double check everything because, you know, it sucks. And then we're going to put, you can see right there, I did some welding. Extended it. And, uh, yeah. So it's going to be 1A, 1B. 1A, 1B, as long as I don't screw that up. Then 5 return, 5 pressure, 6 return, 6 pressure. So this will be 5, and they're both the same return. They're teed off to the same. But uh, I guess five's the top one. That 5 return there. And then 5 pressure would be this one right here and then six is this one pressure so we're gonna try and get all this figured out now not that there's much to figure out just connected i don't know what you guys think i kind of like it i uh i left or sorry, when I did this, in a perfect world, I think I would have done one AB at the bottom. This still would have been, or I guess this would have been five and that would have been six. If I was going to do a whole new one, I would do the spacing that I have on this, which is, uh, I think it's three inches on center on that. And I think these were like two and a half, but they're bigger couplers. It's just that there's not... I like to be able to get my hand around them and that, that obviously that one's good. That one's tight, but they're, hey, that's nothing I did. Uh, it's not like they come off five, six times a year unless we're getting stuck and having to unhook and knock on wood. We haven't had to do that since I've been farming. So I, I don't know, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I, truth be told, I'm very happy with how it looks. And, uh, you know, I probably would have done things differently. But it is what it is. Still have a couple more. Hopefully we get some warmer weather or I'll even tackle it into March. Obviously, I can't go back and change the factory things without changing a whole new piece or creating a whole new piece. And I'm not, I don't love using, I shouldn't say, they're, they're handy. The mag drill works pretty good. You just got to keep it lubricated. Um, if I had my spacing, it would probably be a little bit taller. Eh, not really worried about that. I still have some other projects coming up uh, with the cedar. I have a snorkel kit to put on and cameras to do yet and that's what i physically have on me to do we're still going to be buying the mud scrapers uh brandon ag days is next week i'm going to get some pricing on that as well oh i have a little bit of work in the cab to do a couple of mounts for another ipad and where i want to maybe move the gps 
or I put the iPad above. I'll, I'll show you that another time. It's just, it's really dark up in the cab because there's no windows by it and you can't really see anything. So I'll have to haul some light up when I go to do that. Anyhow, please like and subscribe. Take care.